the demon. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not a faggot. I'm not a faggot. Look at you. Look at you. Drunkenness is a sin. The Bible says drunkenness is a sin. In the name of Yeshua. In the name of Yeshua. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Drunkenness is no good. Thank you, sir. It's really good. Okay, just walk away. The Bible says we can all have love. The Bible loves people who love Him. The Bible loves people who love Him. The Bible says He loves people who love Him. The Bible says He loves you if you love Him. What a great message of hope. He loves you if you love Him. That's a great message of hope. He loves you if you love him. Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Hello everybody, here we are. We were just out tonight preaching the good news. And uh, the last couple of times we've been out, uh, I didn't have a big microphone. But today we got a bullhorn. And I wasn't sure how it was going to be accepted with the police or not. But boy, we learned real quickly. Uh, we had a great stories tonight. People came up to us tonight. And they didn't always come up to us on other nights. And... Uh, but tonight it was quite interesting. Uh, there was one fellow who was on his way to getting drunk, and I was explaining to him about drunk kids being sinners, and he didn't like to hear that. And he kept walking back and forth, and he tried to flag down a cop, and the cop came, and he went up to the cop. The cop didn't come to us. The cop just said, I can't say anything. I can't do anything. They have to be there. And the guy was so upset, he walked all the way around us, and he came back, and my friend uh, that was there, handing out tracks, he threw a beer on him. And uh, so that, that was one instance, and uh, that's all right, that's nothing. I mean, the guy lost his beer, so we accomplished our goal. You know, the other guy had no less, one less beer to drink. Uh, but my friend was fine, and uh, we kept it up. And then a lot of people tonight with homosexuality were, were not hearing the word. They weren't liking the word too much. The demons were in them. And uh, one lady particularly, the demons were, were coming out of her. Uh, like crazy, the demons were coming out of her, because she couldn't accept the word about homosexuality and drunkenness and immodesty and immorality. She couldn't accept it. She doesn't know that our Creator, Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus said, repent for your sins or you're going to hell. She couldn't accept that. And uh, she didn't want to hear the truth. Because the demons don't want to hear the truth. But when I told her the truth, uh, you know, it's time to repent or burn. It's time. But we have to make our choice. We have to make that choice of now and never. So, I want to do that because uh, there was somebody that stopped to listen. But let me get back to my story now. Hallelujah. Uh, so, Basically, the demons were coming out of this lady, and uh, she was cursing and cursing and cursing, and trying to grab the camera from my friend, uh, and she was getting in his face, getting in the camera and cursing right up to the camera, and uh, she couldn't handle it. The demon couldn't handle the truth. And then uh, she came up to me, she got right up to my face, and all of a sudden, the cop car came, like speeding out of nowhere. Cop car comes up, and she tries to run to the cop to, to tell him to get us to stop, or something. I don't even know what happened. I did. The cop came out there or something, but the cop pushed her away from us and told her she can't put her hands on me, she got to leave us alone, she can't put her hands on us, uh, we have every right to be there and she can't stop us and to go away. And she went away cursing, of course. Uh, but, uh, you know, when you're street evangelizing, it's not always the cops are going to be on your side. Uh, but praise God, tonight they were, and uh, they very well they should be. We weren't doing anything wrong, and uh, we had a great time, and that's the way it should be. Uh, cops uh, should take a good example of this. We know when we're prepared, it's not always going to be like that. Uh, uh, but we're going to let the Spirit lead us, and tonight that's the way it was, and that's what happened. And we had a couple of other people coming up to us, uh, cursing at us, just uh, walking by, cursing at us. But we had our brother Lewis with us tonight, and Zachary gave it out a tremendous amount of tracks. And tonight we also had uh, uh, Elizabeth with us, who was there uh, talking to a lot of the women and the girls. And uh, we're going to get her on film, and she's going to tell you about some of the encounters she had. And uh, the more the better, the more the merry. This is great. Praise God. Get out there. Go stand. Speak. Because that's what we're called to do. We're called to speak the good news of Yeshua Messiah. Time's running out. People have to know about the kingdom that's coming. That our Creator loves people who love Him, and He hates those who hate, who love sin. We have to understand that. Time's running out. People need to wake up. People need to get right with the word. Time's running out. We have to let people know that our Creator loves people who love Him and He hates those who love sin. We have to let Him know. One can so, turn. It's never too late. It's never too late. It's never we have too to stop late. sinning. We have to understand what sin is. We have to understand it's never too late. 
You know what the Bible says about drunkards? You know what it says? It says they're going to hell, sir. That's what the Bible says. You know what it says? It says it's never too late. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. Good language. Very good language. Very good language. That's good. You're a great representative. Wonderful. That's really good. You know what it says? Yes, he is. And you know what it says? I'm not a drunkard. It says I'm not a drunkard. It says you go and judge people, and I'm judging you according to his word. You need to wake up and understand. You need to get it right. People want to think getting drunk is okay and homosexuality is okay. That's not what the Bible says. No, it does. The Bible says it's fine. If you listen to my words, you can be blessed abundantly. But you have the choice and the option. Some people say God loves everybody. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter because that's not true. The Bible says He doesn't love everyone. The God. The Bible says God loves everyone who loves Him. If you love Him, you will know it by your fruit. The Bible says that those that love me, I love them, but those that do not decide to follow me, I hate them. That's what the Bible said. Look at this way this guy's acting. Great way to act. Real good. That's a great representative of demons. Yeah, somebody do someone? Yeah, the guy's doing it. Yeah. It's not too late to change your ways. Change your ways now before it's too late. Getting drunk. Going to hell. He didn't get your camera, though. Well, what's in the bag? Any, any electronics in there? Your, your camera, yeah. yeah. Give, give Lewis the camera for a second. Oh, okay. Check on that stuff. You all right, man? Yeah. That's good. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> Take you out of the street That's light. Good. People don't want to hear the truth. People don't want to hear the truth. But God says, I love you if you love me. But to love me says, I will know them by their fruit. By the fruit. By their fruit. The tree bears no fruit. It has, it's no good. Turn up our folks. I'm not here because I got nothing better to do tonight. I'm here to let everyone know that my God. How we doing? Having a good time? Hey, listen, can I give you one of these here for the American Idol? The American Idol. It's nothing, though. Come on, let's go. Jesus Christ, my Savior already. Good, good, good. Stay blessed, my brother. Stay blessed. Choose life, so you shall live. Choose life, so you shall live. If you're not guilty of these sins, they shouldn't affect you. But immodesty is a sin. Drunkenness is a sin. Homosexuality is a sin. Immodesty is a double sin. Immodesty is a tremendous sin. Immodesty is a tremendous sin in the scripture. Because not only are you sinning, you're causing other people to sin. The Bible says it's time to realize and wake up. It's time to turn them on. We have a choice. God loves us. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you if you love him. Hallelujah. God loves people who love him. Yes. And if you don't, he said, get away if you sin. He loves people that love him and he hates people that love him. He loved you because I like that. You loved him because God loved you loves first. people that love him, but he hates people that love sin. Yes. Yes. There you go. There you go. We have to know what that is. Okay. I just spoke with, uh, you know, when the Spirit leads and you just allow him to lead, especially about following the commands for brothers and sisters who are in the faith, we're supposed to rebuke them because that's truly showing love to them, you know? And so there was a guy with a girl, they were obviously like, I guess, together. And they said that they were both Christian. And I said, I said, that's awesome. And I said, okay, we're supposed to rebuke one another and love one another. And if, if we do, she was wearing like, like a string top with her whole midriff showing and very, very short shorts. And I said, throw away those clothes because it doesn't honor and glorify God. And it doesn't, it's not, modest and he like you're a jewel you know like you're supposed to be more than the way that you're portraying yourself you know you're not you're, you're, you're not being different than the world you're not set up you're not being set apart and to give your boyfriend sanity and to give him peace do that and as well for the guy that he will try in all his ways like honor your girlfriend like in these ways but you as the woman like throw those clothes away if you want to obey God because he says that those who love him will obey his commandments and so i just came right out and just was like oh she hates me now but what you know, was their reaction she was looking at the boyfriend because she was really happy that it said that it will give him peace but then i was just focusing on her and just because a woman is like she can destroy or she can make uh the, the guy like have peace you know and so yeah she was really he was kind of like wow like that's awesome but she was kind of like really upset because she was in that situation and then she said she had a Bible degree and I said, do you know it's like also bad to eat pork? Da -da 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 -da. And then she just like 
Tell us about today. some of the other people you met tonight and spoke to. Um, I spoke to these three sisters, um, and when I was speaking to them about the darkness and the light and the whole thing with Israel, like they were just listening, the whole thing, and I gave a lot of little examples so that they would understand, and they were asking questions, and that was really awesome, but by the end of it, Zachary actually came up, and she's like, I just got thrown beer at, and then he's like, can you hold this, and, she, and the girl in the middle, she goes, why would they do something like that, why would they do something so mean, and I said, in the word, like a lot of people got persecuted because they brought light into the darkness, and because they were shining the light to people like you, because God had like, to bring that light to you guys, and the, 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 the apostles and stuff were willing to get persecuted, like Zachary just here, and she just started crying, and then I told her about like, like the sins, like that obviously that kids would make, like lying, cheating, or like stealing or something like that. And then she was crying, and then I prayed with them. I just, I just prayed with them, and I gave them, my, I gave that girl because I knew that she was hearing. The other two girls weren't really hearing, but that girl, that one girl, you could tell she was listening. And so I just gave her my Bible. Aww. But I love my Bible, but I just, I gave it to her because I knew she needed it, and I know she would read it. I really like because. When I saw her, I saw myself. Like I saw myself when I was her age, and so I think she was. I think it really hit her. Um. Uh. What other girls did I talk to? Just gave a lot of abortion CDs. I guess because I was a lady, and they were like more receptive and stuff. So I gave. Uh, Wonderful, but you had a great time with it. Man, it was awesome. It's, right. it's so good to spend this time to do this stuff because this is what truly matters. This is eternal. Like. This is what this is what God calls us, like Yahweh calls us to be. So Hall God hallelujah. Something. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Yeah, be more to come. Yeah. All right, there we got uh, Lewis and Zach talking to our friend there on a bike who came back here tonight again. And then we have Elizabeth talking to some other girls here. She's been talking to girls all night. Uh, we just met a good brother here who's a believer in Yeshua. It's some hard times, but good guy knows his word. We're having fun. Still having fun out here. Almost midnight, and here we are still. Still. They're both lesbian. <laughs> All right, good, good. You spoke to them, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it was I gave them the truth, and they didn't like it. And I said, but the evidence, you say that you love God, but where's the evidence of that salvation? If you say you love pizza, you're going to be eating pizza. But yet, if you love pizza and you and you don't eat it every time you go to a pizza place, that means you truly don't love it. And so it's the same thing with your life. Like, if you say you love God, if you say you love Him, then you will obey His commands. You will start cleaning up your life and, and living the way that He does. And so she's like, I guess I don't love Him. And they want to still live in their sin. So I said, just repent. Hallelujah. Good job. So say it again. The, the, the woman of the woman girl, she started to cry a little bit when I started to say that Yahweh even called God, I would say. God called Paul a mass murderer of Christians that had zeal to be able to glorify himself by saving him. And he was so deep in his sin. And like he even said, I'm going to call them, him, out of darkness so that he can glorify me even though that he was a mass murderer of Christians. And he can do the same thing with you. And he's calling you out of darkness. And then she started to cry a little bit. And then I saw the, the other lady, the guy lady, started getting talking to me. And she gave you the card back. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, please read the word, read the whole word. You'd rather live in an abomination instead of like glor loving and glorifying God, you know? Well, you did a good job. Good for you. Hallelujah. Pray, pray that they will come to know him. And that, that seed was in good soil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here we are. We got Doc and Lewis. Talk to a friend on the bike. Midnight. <laughs> in West Palm. My dad. In West Palm Beach. Midnight. The living waters right there. There's the living waters. All right, everybody. Here we are out. Here's the living waters. That's what it's all about. That's the living water. Living water. Flowing. Flowing. <laughs>
Hello everybody, this is Paul Neeson, your health watchman. Thank you for checking out my channel. If you'd like more Bible related videos, you can click right here now to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can get a whole bunch of great videos on these topics. If you want to check out my website, TorahLifeMinistries.org, where I have so many different videos, you can click right here right now and it'll take you to that website as well. Until then everybody, have a great day and Shalom Shalom.